All right, so for this video, I just wanted to remind everybody that the new live season challenges are available. I'm also gonna explain what you need to do in order to complete them. And I'm also gonna show you the methods that I use to complete them fairly quickly. And the way you get to the challenges is by pressing start and you'll see a new option that says challenges. Once you select that, it'll give you details on how to complete each challenge. And first I wanna go over the community and task force challenges. And for the community challenge, we're gonna to have to mark 10 million Unidad soldiers using either drone or binoculars as a community. And if you look directly above the community challenge, you can see how much time we have left to complete these challenges before the time runs out. Uh, when I was recording this video, we had seven days, 17 hours and 27 minutes left. And as you can see, we're already closing in on a million marks. So yeah, for the community challenge, we're gonna have to mark a total of 10 million Unidad soldiers using either the drone or binoculars as a community. Directly below that, you'll see the task force challenge. And in order to complete the task force challenge, you and members of your task force are gonna have to kill 30 Unidad snipers from at least 300 meters away in any province. And for those who haven't joined the task force yet, uh, be sure to check out the link in the description I briefly go over how you can join the task force in that video, but um, the other challenges you're gonna have to complete are the solo challenges. And you will have to do the solo challenges in order, starting with the challenge at the top. All right, so the first challenge is gonna be in the Romanzo province. And in order to complete this one, you're gonna have to use a drone to mark at least 12 SAM launchers, alarms, and Gatling nests. And I'm gonna show you a real easy way to complete that here in a second. But uh, once you complete that challenge, the next challenge will unlock. And for that next challenge, you're gonna have to mark 25 Unidad soldiers from at least 100 meters away using binoculars in the Media Luna province. And again, I'll show you a real easy way to complete that challenge here in a second. And once you complete that, the third challenge will unlock. And for that third challenge, you're gonna have to manually deactivate two drone jammers in the Media Luna province. And again, I'll show you an easy way to complete that as well. Anyways, once you complete those three solo challenges, you're gonna get the copper weapon skin. And I'll show what that looks like towards the end of the video. All right, so in order to complete the first challenge, obviously you're gonna have to go to the Romanzo province. And as you can see here, there are two miniguns located in this sniper tower. There's also three miniguns located in the sniper tower across the way. And there's also one alarm that's located in the middle of the base. And again, you're gonna have to mark each of these installments using your drone. Anyways, the base is gonna be located here in the Romanzo province and it's called FOB Puma. So that's the base you're gonna to wanna to go to. Now, obviously there was five mini guns and one alarm that was located there, which makes a total of six. So what I would recommend doing is after you highlight those six installments, go ahead and fast travel to the nearest safe house and then return back to the base because when you fast travel all of those highlights that you used on the mini guns and the alarm all of those marks are going to disappear and you'll be able to mark them again and when you mark the five mini guns as well as the one alarm that also totals to six and when you add in the six times that you marked them the first time it makes a grand total of 12 marks and you'll be able to complete the first live season challenge. And yeah, using this method, it took me about two or three minutes to complete this solo challenge. So again, for that first challenge, you're gonna have to spot mini guns as well as alarms or SAM launchers using your drone. Anyways, once you've spotted at least 12 of them with your drone, you'll end up seeing this little pop-up that says you've completed solo challenge one out of three. And once you complete that first one, you can then move on to the second one. Now, like I said earlier, for the second challenge, you're gonna have to mark 25 Unidad soldiers from at least 100 meters away in the Media Luna province. And a real easy way to complete this challenge is to go to this location here, which is MOB Condor. And there are at least 25 Unidad soldiers located at this base. So you should be able to highlight all 25 enemies at this one base. And again, you have to highlight them using your binoculars. Now, the way that I did it was I stayed outside of the base to make sure that I was at least 100 meters away. And then I tried to spot all of the enemies, including the ones that were in sniper towers. I also tried to uh, highlight the enemies that were walking around the base. And you should also keep in mind that this base is divided into two parts. 
One's located like towards the bottom of the hill and there's also like a runway that's located near the top of the hill and there's also going to be some enemies located up there as well but yeah with that being said i was able to spot all 25 uni dead soldiers from over 100 meters away using binoculars in just this one location and again once you've highlighted all 25 uni dead soldiers from 100 meters away using your binoculars you'll see a little pop-up on your screen that says you completed the second challenge and it probably took me around five minutes or so to uh, spot all 25 enemies and again that's going to be located at the MOB Condor base anyways once you've completed the second challenge you'll then be able to start the third and final solo challenge and for this week that third challenge is to manually deactivate two drone jammers in the Media Luna province and to make this third challenge really easy I would recommend that you stay in the same exact base because there are two jammers located in that same base Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you where those drone jammers are located on the map. There's going to be one that's located near the runway at the top of the hill. And there's another one located at the bottom of the hill directly in front of the gunship. So all you have to do is just walk up to both of those drone jammers and deactivate them manually. And then you will be done with all three of the solo challenges. And I say in total, it probably took me around 10 minutes to complete all three challenges. Anyways, once you complete the third challenge, you'll see a couple pop-ups. One's going to tell you that you've finished the third challenge. And you're going to see another pop-up that says, congratulations, you've earned a solo challenge reward copper. So yeah, when you complete the solo challenges, you're going to get a new weapon skin, which I'm going to show here in a bit. When you complete the community and task force challenges, you're going to get two new patches. Anyways, here's the new copper reward. Uh, I equipped it on the TAR-21 so you can get a good look at it. As you can tell, it has sort of like a copper color to it when it's in the light, but when it's not in the light, it sort of has like a darker color. So yeah, that's the reward you get once you complete the three solo challenges. Anyways, it pretty much sums up the methods I used to complete this week's live season challenge. Again, it probably took me about 10 minutes to complete using the methods that I showed you in this video. But yeah, that'll do it for this one. If y'all enjoyed it or found it useful, don't forget to do what you do. I'm A1. Thanks for watching.